awesome, awesome, awesome. Schools, colleges, corporates, this arena has seen three glorious battles already. And today, once again, it's back to school. I am Rajiv Makni, welcoming you to another crackling episode of Chroma Tech Grandmasters Season 3. You know, this season has been just awesome already. I'm having a lot of fun. The teams are having a lot of fun, but this audience is having, I think, the most fun. And I'm going to come to you guys all over again because you guys are alive and dynamic, and that's the best part. Today, the pyramid is ready to challenge the adventurers with minds that can bend steel with their resolve and heads that are capital in the quizzing department. It's going to be Loyola School from Jamshedpur versus Mount St. Mary's from New Delhi. <laughs> And now let's come to the real superstars of the show, the audience. If technology is your game, then these guys are at the right playground. So guys, you're here and you're already seeming to have a lot of fun out here. Remember, lots of stuff to do with you. Okay, now just to warm you up, uh, I do have a question for you. And this one is not the TQ kind. This one actually will get you a prize to take home and a really good one. And let me tell you what I'm going to give away. A Chroma digital photo frame, that nice big one that you can keep all your memories and the photographs you take with me on. Okay? So good to go. Audience, are you ready? So easy one. What we're asking you and you can play along too. What is the Microsoft search engine called? Only hands up. Say, I knew it's a TQ audience. I always give a chance to a girl. Bling. Bling is what... I'm wearing, but bling is not the answer to Microsoft search engine. Now I'm giving you minus one letter quickly. Bing. Uh, L is... You minus the L? Yeah. Well, you minus the L, but you've just added a prize to yourself. Come on. Well done. Congratulations. What's your name? Suti. Now you know how this plays out. You've been watching the last three shows. I've got to get the teams in and get this battle started. And team number one, they belong to a city known for its prestigious association with the iconic Tata group of industries. But more than that, they belong to a school known for churning out one ace quizzing genius after another. We are speaking of Loyola School, Jamshedpur. <laughs> With me now are KC Sachin and Anirban Kundu and one of you of course is somebody I know from before and I even remember what I introduced you as last time. If quizzing is a war then you guys are warriors is what I remember it to be. I hope you remember that yeah, remember. when you win today, okay? So now he's been on the show before, you haven't. So have you learnt anything from him? What, what are the tips he's given you? Uh, be quick, be patient. Fines will come. And those, and those two completely opposite sides of the spectrum. Yeah, that, be that. quickly patient or be patiently quick. Which one? Be patiently quick. <laughs> be patiently quick works for me also. Now, Anirvan, the one part I know is that you now have ambitions that have far surpassed last year. You now want to be on the cover of Time magazine and you want to be a Google Doodle. I, I want Google to put up a doodle on my name. So those are not small ambitions. I am wanted to be an entrepreneur and what I dream of doing is connecting the whole world through quizzing. I've not even been on any Time magazine cover till now, but I'm still young, so <laughs> it'll happen. But right now, we've got to see who's up with you to make it to the cover of Winner for Today. Where else would you find a tech enthusiast who dreams on working for Google, paired with one who only wants to work for Apple, only on this show? Aspiring to win hearts and scores with their keen instinct and knowledge are Kavar Pratap Singh and Rohan Gulati from Mount St. Mary's, Delhi. <laughs> First of all, guys, I have to say it's very difficult to now know who's who. Your crest almost looks the same. The uniform is almost the same. Thank God the ties are a little different. So I will know who's who. Now, your spelling is Kanwar, but I've been asked to call you Kavar. What is this? Why is that? Actually, uh, in Hindi, there's a Chandrabindu above, above K. Okay. So it is Kamar, not Kanwar. The other name that you seem to be very clear about the fact is that you don't like a person also with a name starting with a K and a double K. How many people here hate Katrina Kaif? None. Raise your hand. One. Why? What did she do to you? She called you Kanwar? <laughs> uh, I just like Priyanka Chopra more. Oh, so this is one of those rivalries that you have. Not so much that you have a personal problem with her. But good to go. Let's find out about what this pyramid is all about. All you have to do is start from the bottom and make your way to the top. 
every block that is numbered has some points. And within that are mini games, some direct questions, some like word maze and our favorite wipe out. Every time you get the block, you get the points, you move your way forward, your quest is to reach the top. And at the top right now, a hundred points. But every time I ask each team a question, that reduces by five. This is a game of strategy, gameplay, knowledge, and of course you've got to be a techie. There's only one person, one team, can finally become Chroma Tech Grandmasters. But to get them started, this is a mountain they must conquer. Every conquest starts from the base camp. We've got to get you onto the base camp. I will give you one question on buzzer. First team to buzz in and give it right makes their move onto the base camp of the pyramid. Both teams ready? Yes! yes. Excellent. We are good to go. Audience, are we good to go? Yeah. Let's give them a big hand then, please. Like I said, we will be playing this on buzzer. One single simple direct question to get you in. And here it is. Who played the title role in the recent... That's all I have for you. Uh, Action Thatcher. Alright, good that you actually got that right. But do remember on buzzer, if you go for it, you've got to answer right away. Okay, that's five points. You're on the board. But of course, Team Green, you can come back on board right now. A straight direct question to you now. Here it is. I'm going to show you a very simple visual. You see it all the time. Which app uses this logo? Blackberry Messenger. Absolutely right. Good start. Just warming you both up. Both teams on the pyramid now, and that gives us a chance to now find out strategies. Team Red, Loyla, what are we doing? Where do you chart your course from here? We go for B. You're going for B, the 20 pointer. The G for 5 pointer is ignored for now. We are going in with the rapid fire, four direct questions. For 20 points, expand these four common acronyms. You use this all the time in instant messaging. The first one is R O T F L. Read out the. Uh... Rolling on the floor, last on the Absolutely floor. right. Number two, IIRC. Internet Relay Chat. No, if you're using things for instant messaging, remember. That is if I remember correctly. So remember, that's where we're going. Number three. Be right back. Be right back is right. And the last one for 15 points now. IMHO. You use it all the time, guys, with three seconds to go. I, I'm happy. No, you're not going to be happy because you are incorrect on that one in my humble opinion. But IMHO doesn't give you the five pointer that you needed for 15, so you get a total of 10. Two correct, two incorrect, but you've got yourself both the block as well as 10 points. You move to 15. Mount St. Mary's, you are on five. Where are we going? E. E for 20, K ignored. The E block has given you a potential of 20 points. It's also given you a chance to win. If you answer any part of this question, Seagate hard expansion hard drives from Chroma. You will win these if you get any part of the question right, okay? So that's the mystery of the pyramid. For 20 points, identify the top level domains and name the countries. It's .fr, .ru, .es, .de. .fr is France. Dot One. .ru is Russia. Two. .es is Spain. Three. .de is Germany. All four are correct. Well done. Mount St. Mary is coming in strong on that one, all four. I think the only one that sometimes throws people off is Spain on that one. So you've done well, you've got your 20 points, you've also got your Seagate expansion hard drives from Chroma. We are with you now, what are you choosing? C. C. 25 pointer C. This is a visual. Identify this man associated with something that is free. It's a big hint, you could get it right away. Think. And we will have your picture revealed starting now. 25 pointer. Guys, you're down to 15 points. Jimmy Wales. Jimmy, Jimmy Wales is correct. 15 yes. points, not bad at all. We are at the moment on St. Mary's with 25, Loyola with 30. And right now we are back with you, Team Green. But before you tell me where we are going, I am now going to take a very quick break. When we come back from the break, we'll find out where your strategy goes. Both teams poise very, very nicely for an incredibly glorious win. The next few decisions they take could change the face of this game. You've got to stick with us to know what happens. In the meanwhile, I'm going to play a quiz with you. A viewer question, get your answers in. Win big prizes from Chroma. Here it is. We'll see you right after the break. Which of these is a ball tracking system used in sports? A. Eagle Eye B. Hawkeye C. Bird Eye B. 
Get your answers too at the rate NDTV Good Times. Hashtag Chroma TGM3.